she could have really done that and did something <laughs> nice and productive. For I've done a hateful marathon. No, Granny, you're just fucking pissed because I went that weekend at you and it worked. What did you do? You ran to Cali. You put Broken Justice, Whitbread, even in Cali, and boom, you proved exactly what I wanted to, right? You fucking set that up with Broken Justice. You knew exactly what was happening. That was Vivian as my melody. I've talked to her for hours and hours. I know her voice. That's Vivian. For somebody else, but instead she could have shut her fucking nail yeah. with her throat coming out. So it's awesome. Right, I'm in a first player, I'm meeting myself. Now this is me down over her situation. So I was just talking about how I know salty that somebody asked me out of chat. So I'm gonna play my audio, I'm fine with it. She's a, a really nice is girl. Is this me fucking talking hateful? Now listen. She's, a, she's been on my panel before. She's usually pretty open. I was hoping she'd come up with her daughter. So that's why I offered help. Because, you know, you got belongings and stuff, you don't lose your stuff. Um, so I don't know, even know if she could afford to get storage. It's, it's very complex when, you own a, when you're being thrown out of your home. You no, know what? I haven't heard all this shit. Yeah, I um, She has some serious health issues. You Can know, you guys remember that call account? It may happen. I mean, we're, we're hoping it's we not did. that we her did. daughter may have to stay a friend. And oh, what happened, Granny? Did somebody come in there and say something negative to you because you're such a bitch? Oh, get rid of that troll account? Oh, poor Granny can't take it. Oh, poor baby. We don't know what salty bitch might have to go take stairs hell or something. Yeah, she was um, saying that she might have to separate from her daughter. She had a place her daughter could go, but she didn't know where she was going. It was a whole fucking thing. So I'm talking like compassionate towards her and that I want to share fuck, what happens to you now. How's that? Free and link to help her. And this is the fucking reaction. It's just so beautiful. Fuck you, Salty. I don't give a fuck what happens to you now. How's that? I'm going to be a fucking bitch just like you. Fuck you. You deserve it. How's that? Because you stay fucking attitude. Why is it every time you have a little hiccup in your life, you come crying to YouTube for financial help? Huh? I remember the last time you did it too. And I'm not the only one that keeps saying it. You only come crying to YouTube when you need some fucking money. Blah, blah. Fucking knew this day was coming. You should have pulled up your big girl panties and fucking prepared. <laughs> Like a grown woman, woman. When you, when you, when you say great big girl panties all the time, I think of those underwear that go all the way up to your bra line and cup your butt cheeks. Yeah, like bloomers? Yeah, she's probably wearing some fucking bitch bloomers. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Cause watch, she's gonna call me the C word. Fuck you, Salty. I'm sorry I ever felt bad for you and wanted to help you. I'm fucking sorry I showed you the, any compassion. So sorry. The C word so is real. <laughs> put themselves in positions they're in in their fucking lives. Let's just own that. Let's yeah. just own that. Why don't you have anybody in your life that you can go stay with, Salty? Is it because of your fucking ratchet attitude and your fucking filthy mouth? Huh? Why is it that you can't go lay down anywhere? Because I know if I was getting thrown out of my house, I have probably like a good five, ten houses I could go to. Why are we getting thrown out of the house anyway? Did anybody oh, say? Well, because she wanted to bury her fucking head in her vagina and not fucking deal with life issues. That's why. <laughs> I guess that's where the I guess that's where the big girl panties come in. You know. I was just told that again, you think it's acceptable to talk about my personal fucking life to benefit your channel. Seriously. I need to pull up what? What do I have to pull up? And yes, I'm recording this. Because I'm not going to allow you to commit any douchebaggery to what it is that I'm saying. You want to panel up right now if you're still alive? Yes or no? My personal life, my private life, isn't going to be used for your fucking content and your subs. Never viciously attacked the Rusek family. Never turned my back on him either. Claire's a fucking liar. I never asked for her credentials. Both of y'all can suck my fucking dick at this point. So, pull up my what? Why is it that you say that you empower women and want to help women, but all you do is fucking tear them down? I haven't spoken to your ass since October until you texted me. If you wanted to do something nice and you were all, your motives were completely altruistic, you just would have fucking said something a week and a half before. Right? Right. 
That's just common sense right there. If you wanted to do something nice for somebody, just fucking do it. Don't use that in your beef on YouTube for whatever it is nice that you're supposed to be doing or that you're going to do, Dorothy. I have never, ever, ever fucking lied on the platform. Absolutely fucking not. I have no motive to. Again, ask Claire why anybody asked her for her credentials in the first place, Dorothy. Ask her that. That would explain everything. Yeah, I've messaged her too. Ah. She didn't ghost us. She didn't ghost me. When I found out that she was lying, she took off. That's simple. Stop saying I asked her or any of us asked her for her fucking credentials. And again, Dot, I'm recording this. Because I don't want you, again, committing any fucking douchebaggery with what it is that I'm saying to you. I said I have no problem saying it to you, paneling up live, anything like that. Again, my personal life is not meant for, to be content for your fucking channel. When you're sitting there interspersing with what's going on with me on uh, some woman that you just keep talking shit about. Talking shit. Stop being a fucking hypocrite. How about you pick up, pull up your big girl pants and actually stand by the shit that you say on, on, your, on your channel. The road, again, that you're going down isn't a good one. And I called you a fucking cunt because you're acting like one. I'm not going to start lying to you now as far back as we go. You're not going to lie about me. I'll make sure everybody knows that you're lying. If it's about me, hell yes. So not only did you basically weaponize me in your beef, your petty-ass fucking stupid-ass YouTube beef with that woman I've never fucking heard of until the other day. Haven't even, never spoke to her. Still haven't. But you're still putting me in that shit, Dorothy. For the benefit of your fucking channel. Right? Sure. No, fuck off with that. Why do you have to... How dare you fucking suggest that the only time I get up on my channel and cry is to get money. When your fucking ass is sitting there on a goddamn monetized channel getting super chats and everything else, I don't know what the fuck... I never asked anybody to send anything to me. That's the community, which hasn't imploded. It's quite strong. And they all came together and helped. Because as a single mother trying to do it by herself, my fucking house was foreclosed on. I lost it. Everything. This isn't content. Just fucking stop. And if you have something to fucking say, Dorothy, say it to the people that you're talking about. I extended an invitation. If you want to talk, if you want to say something, so pick up your big girl panties and be a woman of character because that's what you're trying, you're still claiming that you are when you have no character whatsoever. Get your shit together. I almost forgot the most important thing. Don't forget that you're the one that said, I had enough support. Like, a week and a half before you even texted me. That's on you. If you wanted to help, you would have. And I don't care that you didn't. I don't care. What I care about is the fact that you have turned into a cunt and you're using people's personal shit for YouTube drama. What the fuck? I don't know what you said about me giving or sucking dick, but you know what? My husband, as strange though he is, didn't call me the blonde wonder for nothing. Yeah. Fuck off, Dorothy. Get some balls. If you're going to talk shit and drag people down, 
give them an opportunity to at least, you know what, just panel up with them. Do it live. Do it. Phone call. Whatever. Stop blocking everybody. Nobody can say anything to you because you avoid any type of blowback. Everybody knows that. You got everybody blocked. Everybody. And again, this is recording. Because I don't want you to do anything cuntish with my voice clips, Dorothy. For fuck's sake. I can't believe that you, of all people, how could I have gotten you so fucking wrong? All of us, a lot of us, most of us. How is this helping women when all you do is just fucking drag them? Salty, whoever, stop sending me audio clips. I'm never going to listen to them. Stop wasting your fucking nasty dick-sucking breath. How do you like that? Didn't you say I like to suck dicks? Huh? Why don't you worry about your dick sucker? Maybe if you suck some more dicks, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in. How about that? Oh, I hate being that hateful, but bitch, I've had enough of you. How dare you take my kindness and turn it into that? You're a disgraceful human being. And sometimes karma hits us, right? Karma comes down and fucking smacks, our, smacks us right in the fucking face. Um, there's probably a reason why you don't have support, that you have a place that you can go. Why you're left like this in the world. And I'm starting to think I know why, because you're a fucking disgrace. You are so fucking rude and hateful. I'm sorry I ever offered to help you. I should have listened to Jura and ignored your ass. I didn't talk about salty. Having enough. I don't even know what amount to ask. You're talking about. Did you fabricate that, Ashley? I have never said that she had enough. What are you talking about? That's so weird. When did you know that I announced that Salty has enough already? Even though I've never seen the link and I don't know the amount she's got or needs. She has enough support. I wish Salty the best. I hope she can figure it out. Unfortunately, how things ended, I, I wanted to try to share it. I thought about it, but then I felt like it wasn't appropriate for me to even get involved. She has enough support. Knock, knock. Is anybody out there? Can you hear me? The video that I just premiered were the voice clips that I sent Dorothy <clears throat> a little while ago when I heard that yet again, she thought it would be okay to bring up my situation or circumstances and use it as content. Now, I did that because... From what I understand, she said that she wasn't going to listen to him and that she blocked me or whatever, and that she was uh, going to send them to other creators. There's no reason to send them. Don't bother. I'm accountable. I'm not desperate for content. I'm not, um, well, I have nothing to hide. I'm not a cunt like you, essentially. Um, so the video, the audio clips were the clips that I sent her. And yes, I did state several times that I was recording it because I didn't want anybody to put their douchebaggery onto it, fuck it up, take it out of context, lie, pretend this or that, or say this or that. There you go. You have it. And all that you've proven is that you have no character, nor integrity, nor basic, uh, you know, accountability. You want to talk shit about people, but you will not be responsible for the repercussions of that. Now, one of the thing, only thing really that I have heard that made me just sick to my stomach is the fact that she's still maintaining that we turned our backs on the Rusek family and that we have viciously been attacking them. Now, anybody in this community, obviously they know that's not a fucking, uh, realistic circumstance. 
But I urge anybody and everybody that was a part of this community when we did have one to call her out for that fucking bullshit because y'all know that that's not the truth. We've never, ever, ever turned our backs on anybody, nor have we viciously attacked the Rusek families. Helen Chafer, you can put her in check. Claire Morgan, the liar, you can put her in check. Outback, preach, y'all can put her in check. Summer, anybody, y'all can put her in check because we didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong other than speak the truth. So, folks, again, the voice clips, there they are. Everything that I said, and I would say it to you, Heifer, if you weren't uh, such a pussy and a punk. So I'm back to my, uh, my, my, I got to go back to my real life, I should say. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate whoever is here right now or who watched it. Sure, and I don't care, you know. I ain't got nothing to hide, Heifer. Play it. I'll play it for you. I'd ram it up your fucking ass if I could. You punk. Okay. You know what's going to happen when you start shit like that. It's sad. To be so desperate. And it's just disgusting. To be such a fucking liar. Say salty, bitches. I'll see y'all later. Hopefully. Maybe. I didn't talk about salty. Having enough. I don't even know what I'm out to yet. What are you talking about? Did you fabricate that, Ashley? I have never said... That she had enough. What are you talking about? That's so weird. Wendy, did you know that I announced that Salty has enough already? Even though I've never seen the link and I don't know the amount she's got or needs. She has enough support. I wish Salty the best. I hope she can figure it out. Unfortunately, how things ended, I, I wanted to try to share it. I thought about it, but then I felt like it wasn't appropriate for me to even get involved. She has enough support.